If fatigue is due to liver disease, usually, the condition of liver inflammation is quite severe, or even progress to liver cirrhosis. Hello, I'm Dr. Liu, Yucha, welcome, Dr. Xu, Poyao, to Care Online. Hello, I'm Dr. Xu, Poyao. Is hepatitis B transmitted through sharing meals? Many patients ask this question in the clinic. In fact, hepatitis B is a disease transmitted through blood and body fluids. So having meals together does not transmit hepatitis B. The main transmission routes of hepatitis B are primarily vertical transmission from mother to infant and horizontal transmission. Horizontal transmission mainly occurs through sharing toothbrushes, needles, acupuncture, tattoos, and ear piercings. And if the instruments are not thoroughly disinfected, there is a risk of transmitting hepatitis B. Unsafe sexual practices are also a contributing factor to transmission. Hepatitis transmitted through diet is primarily hepatitis and hepatitis E. So avoiding raw foods and emphasizing personal hygiene are the main ways to prevent infection with hepatitis and E. Can sexual activity transmit hepatitis B? Hepatitis B is primarily transmitted through blood and body fluid transmission. Therefore, sexual activity can transmit hepatitis B, and in fact, early stage hepatitis B is considered one of the sexually transmitted diseases. Therefore, during premarital health checkups, or even before dating, if one discovers that their partner is a hepatitis B carrier, it's advisable to get vaccinated against hepatitis B even if they don't have antibodies. Is fatigue easily due to liver disease? Doctors are often asked in clinics why they often feel fatigued, and if it's related to liver problems. In fact, the cause of fatigue can also be psychological and physiological. Psychological factors may include excessive work pressure and stress in life, while physiological factors, apart from the liver, include heart, lungs, or kidney problems, or hormonal imbalances, which can all lead to fatigue. If fatigue is due to liver disease, usually, the condition of liver inflammation is quite severe, or even progress to liver cirrhosis, so if fatigue cannot be alleviated, especially if accompanied by other symptoms, such as jaundice, abdominal distension, or abdominal pain, it is advisable to seek medical attention early to determine the underlying cause. Does yellowing of the skin mean liver disease? Yellowing of the skin does not necessarily indicate liver disease. In fact, sometimes excessive consumption of red or yellow fruits and vegetables, such as carrots, mangoes, sweet potatoes, or papayas, can lead to excessive levels of carotene in the blood, which can then deposit in the skin, resulting in yellowing of the skin, a condition known as keratinemia. Medically, this is referred to as hypercarotinemia, and it's usually not a cause for concern. Simply reducing the intake of these fruits and vegetables can gradually improve the yellowing of the skin. However, if yellowing of the skin is caused by a disease, it differs from keratinemia in that the whites of the eyes may also become yellow. If these symptoms occur, it is important to seek medical attention early, as yellowing of the skin due to disease is indicative of jaundice, except for a few conditions, such as neonatal jaundice, favism, hemolysis, or biliary obstruction. Most are related to liver disease, and sometimes, there may also be tea-colored urine. If these symptoms occur, it is important to seek medical attention early to determine the underlying cause. Thank you, Dr. Xu, for joining us at Care Online. See you next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye.